At any rate, by the way, the polar form of multiplication leads to a very interesting way of extracting roots of complex numbers. For example, suppose I want to find the sixth root of i. In other words, what complex number raised to the sixth power gives i? In fact, is there such a complex number? You know, after all, we could raise real numbers to powers, but one of the reasons that we had to invent the complex numbers is that we couldn't extract the square root of minus one. There was no real number whose square was minus one. The question now is, is there a complex number which when raised to the sixth power equals i? One way of doing this is to say, okay, let's assume there is a complex number, call it x plus i y, which when raised to the sixth power equals i. In other words, the sixth root of i is x plus i y. And let's see if we can solve for x and y. One way of doing this is to raise both sides here to the sixth power, in which case we see that i has to be x plus i y to the sixth power. On the other hand, i is written as 0 plus 1i. If I raise this to the sixth power, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, every time I raise i to an even power, I get a real number. Why? Because i squared is minus 1. Therefore, i to the fourth is i squared squared, which is minus 1 squared, which is 1. i to the sixth is i to the fourth times i squared, which is 1 times i squared, which is minus 1. And in the same way, if I take i cubed, that's what? i squared times i, which is minus i. In other words, the even powers of i are real. The odd powers of i give me back plus or minus i. So if I raise this to the sixth power and collect terms, I'll get a certain number of real terms and a certain number of purely imaginary terms. In fact, using the binomial theorem and raising this to the sixth power and separating the terms for you in advance, I wind up with what? x to the sixth plus 6x to the fifth iy plus 15x to the fourth iy squared plus 20x cubed iy cubed plus 15x squared iy to the fourth plus 6x iy to the fifth plus iy to the sixth. I went through that rapidly. It's just using the binomial theorem, noticing that all of these terms will turn out to be real. All of these terms will be purely imaginary. In other words, getting rid of the i's to the best of my ability. See, squaring over here, this is a minus y squared term. This is just y to the fourth. This is i to the sixth, which is the same as i squared, because i to the fourth is one. i to the sixth is i fourth times i squared, which is i squared. So this just comes out as minus one, etc. And making these translations, we wind up with the complicated algebraic system that to find x and y, we must be able to solve this system of equations. In other words, the real part must be zero, the imaginary part must be one, all right? Now, at this stage of the game, not only may it seem difficult to solve this, but it may be that there are no real values of x and y which solve this. And if I can't find x and y, if there are no values for x and y, it means that x plus iy doesn't exist. 